Now when you click on that one, that dialog, then you, it will ask you what name you want to save it. Like I am going to make a first project. Project. So this will be the name. That's okay. Now next thing is you need to click on the connection manager. This will give you a lot of options to connect your SCADA station with uh, maybe you are using S7 300 400 and then you will be using that. S7 200 you will be using. As we discussed last day we were talking about the mod bus so we are keen to know about the mod bus so today we will use the mod bus. When I click on the Modbus RTU TCP master, this will open up that dialog. And when I click on add over here, that will give you an option of adding the things. Now first thing you need to do, you need to check out the network and go to the network properties like that. And click on the Modbus TCP IP because last, last day I talk about there are two uh, uh, about two Modbus Modbus RDU and Modbus T, uh, TCP IP. Today we are going to use the Modbus TCP IP, so I'm going to click it out because my IP address, uh, you know, because I will be using the Modbus on the same IP address, so it is not need to change up the IP here. It is the same IP address of my computer, so I'm not going to change it right. I'm going to click on OK. Next thing is click on over here and click on the next thing and check up the station properties and all the things will be same station address is same uh, because I'm using the first uh, you know just one station so I need not to change anything from here group, group to group cycle and whatever I'm going to write for address of the station who, uh, for which I need to display the value I'm writing it 4001 and I'm writing more M speed, the tag name. So that's fine. We are done with that. I'm going to write make another four thousand and forty thousand two. And I'm going to write it ten. temperature and plant so we are done with that now next step is to use the simulator in a backend and there is a model simulator over here I'm going to click it and that's open. There are a couple of options over here you can use from this simulator. There is an option of RS232. There is an option of Modbus TCP. And uh, uh, today we are going to use the Modbus TCP so I didn't, I'm, I'm using that one also uh, today. And next thing is we are using the holding registers. There are other options over here for digital inputs and the coils, analog inputs. But today I'm going to use the analog uh, holding registers. This will be the address that I will be using. So that's okay. Now I uh, my simulator is running. All I need to do now I want to connect that. That will be show that is showing you the good signals coming from the simulator now your modbus and your scatter station is connected and if i write the things over here like if i write the value 50 that will be instantly written to your modbus also 
let me check it out so that you can this is the uh, value this is the you know the address that we specify 40,001 you can see that at address 40,001 the value of the 50 is written now if I click on the next value try to write that value from here like if I want to write it 99 from here that will be written to the modbus simulator also and if in the case you want to change the value from here from the simulator that will be instantly written there also you can see that that will be over here also read value is 88 so this is the uh, thing how you communicate your SCADA station with Modbus. I think this is clear to you but now I'm going to make another thing. I'm done with that. Now I'm going to as a tagging. In tagging there are different options available. I'm going to use the, uh, it's not historical over here but I need to get the data periodically so I'm going to click on that one and making it that so then now it will read the data periodically now I need to check and I will just click on the SQL tag building that will we are done with that configuration and now we are going to move towards the screen side let me show you how to make a screen this is the option when I click on it it will open up the window and here you have a different options available I'm going to check up the text box so I need to place the text box so I place it let me check out the thing from here all the things are ready yeah that's okay and now next thing is to take another text box because we are dealing with the two variables so I am taking two text box so that's fine now I need to uh, specify the value that will be you, you will be using from that I'm going to use the M speed for the first text box we have associated M speed to the text box 0 and I need to specify another value for text box 1 so I am going to specify that value of the temperature plant to that now it's ok now I need to if I want to put a gauge over here I can do it by like that now if I want to make it you know the broad I can do it by here you can see that if you want to make a gauge more broader you can make it that's fine now go to the if you uh, want to go to the wizard you will see the things like there are a lot of options available and but I'm going to use just one thing that I need a glass effect from here so I'm going to click it and this will make a glass effect there also finish so then also uh, there is that one the properties the wizard I'm going to the, click the gauge and the frame uh, gauge frame and then the glass effect I'm going to apply it and finish no, it's okay, it's running and so we are done with that screen now all I need to do I need to click on the run mode from here run time it will uh, give you the screen over here you can see that But one thing uh, I forgot to do, 
that is the in screen i screen designer screen one open one thing i forget that i didn't associate any value to that cage so i need to uh, associate the value to that gauge so i'm going to associate a value of m speed to first gauge that's okay that will spray the motor speed and the second gauge will display what it will display you the temperature so i'm going to click the temperature from here this will associate the temperature to that gauge now that's a, that's fine and now we can run that you can see that if i change a value from here like if right if write 44 it will go to the 44 if i write 66 it will go to the 66 and that value be uh, you know according to that that will be going towards the mod bus also that is going towards the uh, PLC if you are connecting your mod bus to PLC so if I write 88 it will go to the 88 and if I you can see that over here if I write 66 over here that will make it 66 so that's accordingly changing now tomorrow uh, uh, we will talk about uh, how to make a server client architecture how to make a alarm systems over here whenever some you know if uh, I want to make alarm like that like if value of the temperature exceeds the 80 then it should give you an alarm so we can associate that values that alarms and there are a lot of other options available just because of the fact that today uh, we don't have any uh, it's already delayed due to some problem of installation and uh, my network problem later on so uh, that's all for today's session and you can unmute your voices in the case you have any question you can talk to me